I'm Jasmine here with Black Sheep, sitting with T. Wayne. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. You good? Yeah. Your nasty freestyle is peaked at number nine right now on the Billboard charts. You have hit gold. First, let me hop out the muff. Porsche, I don't want it if that ever don't sit like a horse. I be ballin' on this. Got me feelin' like sports. Dash got so much wood, I could build me a fort. First, let me hop out the motherfuckin' Porsche. I don't want it. First, let me hop out the mother father's van. I don't want to go in the past and that's true. The last person out of the DF dub to do this was Jero back in 2009. So how are you feeling right now? Feeling pretty good. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just adapting to all the success. It feel good to prove so many people wrong and that doubted me from the beginning. Mm -hmm. so, I feel pretty good. You feel good? Yeah. I know you started off on YouTube <clears throat> making freestyles and dance videos. How has your family adapted to all this mainstream media success now? Uh, I mean, to my family, I always been famous. Yeah. So I was like, it's, it ain't nothing new to them. They just, you know, they excited. But to them, I always been famous. Mm -hmm. Just because they my family and they all look up to me. Yeah. So you dropped the song three months prior. Yeah. And then you started getting all this attention and all this media from the video. Did you expect it to take off like that after you dropped the video? Uh, nah, not for that song. I mean, I, I seen the stuff uh booming, mm -hmm. but then when I dropped that video, it just got crazy. Yeah. Man. I didn't know. I didn't know where it was gonna go. I was telling everybody this gonna this gonna do something. And everybody's like, it's a freestyle. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's a freestyle, but you know what I'm saying. God and a lot of people forget that it is a freestyle. It it's was a freestyle. freestyle. Yeah. So um, I know you moved. You grew up in Dallas, and you moved to Houston. In the nasty lyrics, you do mention that um, you weren't getting the respect or the support that you deserved. Yeah. Um, did that have anything to do with the move? Uh, I mean. It wasn't, it, I wasn't necessarily talking about Dallas or Houston. I was talking about like the people in general, cause you know, I love Dallas and Houston. It's mm -hmm. just like some, a lot of people that know me was hating on me behind my back. And then I would be doing like so much stuff for the community and people wouldn't recognize it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But it's all love for Dallas and Houston out there. You know what I'm saying? I just moved, I moved cause uh, my first song, South Dallas Swag blew up in Houston first. Yeah. So I moved to Houston. Like I was like, I see the wave, why not jump in? You feel mm -hmm. me? And so South Dallas Swag, it was a big hit. It was back in 2011. Yeah. Why do you think that Nasty took off? the way it did in South Dallas Swag, you know, kind of stayed local around Texas. Well, South Dallas Swag got big. It just mm -hmm. didn't get big. It's nasty. It's nasty, yeah. yeah. Why don't you think that happened? Oh, uh, cause it it wasn't really me, and I was kind of forcing it, cause you know it was it was like a trend to do dances, so I was doing a dance, and mm -hmm. I just followed the trend. But now, I feel like I want to do my own trend, and I came out with the freestyle, and now I'm setting trends. Everybody copying the freestyle stuff, mm -hmm. so that I mean it just worked better just to follow my own trend that I want to do myself. Exactly. So the who is Ricky Wayne mixtape? Yeah. Some people that may not have heard it, are you continuing the Dallas Boogie movement or are you giving us a whole different vibe on that? I'm not not necessarily doing Dallas Boogie, uh, I'm just doing music. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it, whatever kind of beats I just, I, I reached out for it, that's what kind of song it is. If it sound like it's this kind of beat, that's probably what kind of song it is. But I ain't just focusing on dancing or nothing, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? If I make a song that you could dance to, then that's what it is. But I'm not focusing to have a dance song. Yeah. Are there any features or producers collaborations that we should be looking out for or anything like that? Oh, I mean, we trying. I'm trying to get something with Fetty Wap right now. I mean, that, that's that's going through for sure. Yeah. And uh, you know, I got Cheddar, I got Walker, all the all my main people. But that like I, I ain't really just you know what I'm saying reached out to too many other people, but mm -hmm. people have been reaching out. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a lot of collabs. Okay. And I know you are now on 300 Entertainment. Yeah. And that is home to Fetty Wap and Young Thug, Migos. So how does it feel now to be on a major record label when you've been grinding so hard on your own for so long and how does that feel? And it feel it really feel normal because mm -hmm. it, it feel like this is what I was meant to do my whole life. I was just waiting on the time to come, so it, it really just feel normal. Like I'm not, I mean I'm excited, but you know what I'm saying I'm not just like going, yeah. doing no crazy stuff. You know how people mess their lives up, they because they go crazy, oh, they can't yeah. handle the limelight. You know what I'm saying, and they do the the most in the world, but mm -hmm. no. Nah, I'm excited, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm still working, doing the same thing that I was doing before. Okay, okay. 
So I know that Nasty was a viral sensation. Yeah. Do you feel any pressure? Yeah, any pressure, I would say, to stay relevant in the game? I don't feel no pressure at all because I've been doing this my whole life. This is what I work for. So I feel like since it was meant, meant for me to do it, like, I, I, it's no pressure at all. Like, mm -hmm. just because I, I was meant for it. Like I said, yeah. I'm meant for it. Like, yeah. I was literally started doing this when I was 14 mm -hmm. or 12. However old I was, I started and I've been doing this so many years. So why would I mess up now or not come with another song? I already had songs from like, that's been sitting that I just haven't released yet because it wasn't the right time. Mm -hmm. But you know, the, the right time is coming now because people actually know me so I can release my music that I've been saving. Mm -hmm. But I, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. didn't have, I didn't release nothing because I didn't want to, I didn't want to waste music. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I understand. Yeah. Um, so what inspired you to start making music to begin with? Uh, my dad always played all this gangster rap when I was little, and he had all these DVDs with rappers and stuff. And then he, he would always play the Eight Mile movie. Like, that was the only movie he had. So mm -hmm. I was, like, watching Eminem and stuff, and that just made me just want to go out and start freestyling. Yeah, Eminem. Anybody else in particular? No, when I was young, that's what, that's what made me start rapping. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it made me start freestyle battling, and I was, like... If they come to a freestyle battle, I would. Murder. Yeah, I would. Like, I'm cold with them freestyle battles, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't really get into it because, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm meant to do the music stuff. I'm just, I was just blessed to learn how to freestyle. Yeah. Okay, so White Boy Chris, I know that you and him had a couple of dance songs together and whatnot. Um, how did that link up? How did y'all get started doing that? Uh, I've been knowing Chris for some years and. He was there when I first started South Dallas Swag, when I first started going around. Never, he was there, he was right with me. He been there with me from since I started, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, some people some people still don't realize that I've been knowing him since I, like, since, since I, since yeah. Since Dallas days. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, I've been knowing him, like, for too long. So he, he like, wherever I go, he gonna, he gonna most likely be there, yeah. you feel me? He gonna be there when I go to the top, if, whatever, he gonna be there. Okay, so we're gonna play a game. And, I mean, you have on a rocket tap. So I'm going to start off with this. I'm going to ask you two things, and I want you to pick out of the two. All right. Okay? So the Rockets or the Warriors? I mean... The Rockets. Oh. Nice. No, it's it's going to be the Rockets because I'm in Houston right Steph now. Steph Curry with the shot, boy. Okay. Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Beyonce? From Houston. I, yeah, that's true. But, you, you know, guys love Rihanna. Just like no, I like girls both love Beyonce. Of them. I like both of them. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't even... You can't even choose between them. Between the two. That's just like, yeah, you just can't even do that. Okay, so R&B or hip hop? Oh. Cause you look like you, you you know, when you to yourself, you like to. No, nah, I like. Do you drink I, and drive? No, nah, I don't drink. No, nah, you said drink, drink and, and drive. drive. <laughs> oh, you said drink. <laughs> nah, I like. I like to. You know what I'm saying. I, I ain't gonna lie, I like to make slow songs more than I like to make rap songs. Mm -hmm. Like, I just do. Or, or like, just, you know what I'm saying, them type of songs, I like to make those, but I don't put them out yet. Until the right time comes, then I'm gonna put them out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because people ain't ready, just fully got to know who I am yet. Mm -hmm. So when, you know what I'm saying, when I feel it's the right time, I'm gonna start putting all that other stuff out. But I like I like to sing and all that. Yeah, you like to sing? Can I like you, to sing. Can you hold a note or do you like to sing? I mean, there's, give, there's me, some, give me some auto tune and I'm gonna hold, <laughs> hold any note. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, so note. vanilla or chocolate? <laughs> Mixed. <laughs> Mixed, Together. wait, wait, that was an option. Vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> I like chocolate and I like vanilla. Okay. But I no can't, discrimination. I, no discrimination here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like chocolate and vanilla. No, I don't know. No discrimination you, here. Oh, okay. No discrimination. I mean, I'll, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's chocolate, vanilla, and then you got the in between. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. it's not all about chocolate and vanilla. What about the people in between? That? But I, I you, you know what I'm saying? I choose, I choose, the brown skins, yeah. the, the, the caramel. Yeah, it's caramel and all that. But you know, I like it. I like it all. Okay, Ricky Wayne and T Wayne. Um, is that an alter ego? Is it a Beyonce and Sasha Fierce thing? Describe to the people who don't know you the difference between T Wayne and Ricky Wayne. Uh, Ricky Wayne is just me being me. Mm -hmm. The T Wayne, of course, that's my, my first name and middle name put together. But it's still, I don't know. It's really it's the same. It's really the same thing. It's just Ricky Wayne. It's just I like that name more because I was gonna change my name like four years ago because of the T Pain and Lil Wayne yeah. situation. 
So that's what made me come up with the Ricky Wayne when I was younger. Mm -hmm. That was the only reason I came up with Ricky Wayne, and it, and I had a uh, came up when I in the freestyle. Okay. So I kept the name for four years, but I barely decided to put it out mm -hmm. this year. Is there a Miss Wayne? I guess. Yes, <laughs> there is a Miss Wayne. There and is. The Miss Wayne is my mom. Oh, okay. I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, you don't have a girlfriend, no. so you're single. I'm single. All yes. right. Yeah, there's a Miss Wayne, but mm -hmm. that's my mom. I, I don't. You know what I'm saying? So this touring gotta be exciting. You about to see ladies <laughs> from all over. I mean, yeah, but you know, it's, it ain't it ain't all about that. Yeah, you I understand. Me? But what yeah. do you do in your free time though? When you're not doing music, or when you're not, you know, when you're not on tour working? Oh, uh, I go. To, I hit the mall. Mm -hmm. I'll be Good at the mall. You're going to see me. If you in Houston and you want to see me, you're going to find me at the gallery. Like, one of these days, because I'll be at the gallery so damn much. Mm -hmm. You're going to find me up there some one of these days. Hey, what it do? It's your boy T. Wayne, and you are now locked in with Black Sheep, HTX. What it do? First, let me hop out the muff. Porsche, I don't want to hit that air. Don't sit like a horse. I'll be 